Hey everyone, Anderson Y here. Now, I don't know about you, but as a Wings Fire fan, one thing I've really been waiting for was is the Wings Fire Netflix show. Yeah, I, I know, that's a real thing. Just look it up. However, we haven't really gotten any real announcements about it for a while now. I think the last announcement about it was like about a year ago. Uh, I can't, I don't really know, I can't really explain much of the details, but if you look it up on YouTube, I'm sure you'll find some good results. But anyways, today I thought I'd do something interesting. I'm going to be reacting to some fan-made trailers for the Wings Fire Netflix show. Well, okay, some of them aren't exactly made for the Netflix show, but they're, they're just fan-made trailers for Wings of Fire, for just a Wings of Fire animated thing. So I really think it'd be cool to react to all of them. I'm going to put the credits for all the videos in the description of this video. I'll put, post the links to them. But anyways, let's get started with our first video that I'm going to react to. And also for this video, I'm going to be showing you all the videos, and then I'm going to react to them afterwards. Before we start, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you're into Wings of Fire, because I tend to do some videos on it just as a the end of the books. But now let's get into our first video. I really liked this first trailer. It did a good job capturing the emotional, dramatic feel of Wings of Fire, and the music in it really fit well with it, too. I also was a really big fan of the cute little animations of the Dragonets. Those were really good as well. I also really liked the ending of this trailer. It really does look like an official trailer for the Wings of Fire Netflix show. Overall, this trailer is pretty good. I don't, have anything, I don't really have anything bad to say about this trailer. So, good job, Koi Pool. You made a good trailer. Let's move on to our next trailer. Okay, this trailer is definitely pretty interesting. Let's talk about some great positives. For starters, the 3D CGI in this trailer looks amazing. And also a quick disclaimer, the Wings of Fire Netflix show is actually confirmed to be 3D animated. So who knows, maybe it might turn out looking something like this. And the music in this trailer is also really good, definitely feels super intense and awesome. 
but it does feel a bit underwhelming how all we get are close-up shots and then a silhou silhouette of clay. I would have loved to see the other dragonets, what they would look like in CGI versions, but I guess I would have probably taken a lot of time to make, so I guess it's understandable. And the ending of this trailer is also pretty good. It does a good job of showing the Wings Fire logo popping out with, like, a fiery effect to it, which I think is actually how it works with, like, the official book trailers from on the Schoolastic website, I believe. But anyways, I think this trailer is really good. Good job, Nezui. Now let's go on to our third trailer. When the war has lasted 20 years, the Dragonets will come. When the land is soaked in blood and tears, the Dragonets will come. Find the sealing egg of deepest blue. Wings of night shall come to you. The largest egg in mountain high will give to you the wings of sky. Of earth search through the mud for an egg the color of dragon blood. And hidden alone from the rival queens, the sand wing egg awaits unseen. Of three queens who blister and blaze and burn, two shall die and one shall learn. If she bows to a fate that is stronger and higher, She'll have the power of wings of fire. Five eggs to hatch on brightest night. Five dragons born to end the fight. Darkness will rise to bring the light. The dragonets are coming. Alright, this trailer here was just an absolute masterpiece. I mean, where do I even begin? Well, first up, we've got some nice voice acting for Mauro Seer, who I guess is narrating this trailer, which I think is really good. The edginess in the voice really does fit his personality. Also, it's also really cool how he's like writing out the like the prop Dragonet prophecy as he's talking about it, and I like how it like flash cuts. Well, not flash cuts exactly, but basically shows like how all the eggs for the dragons were collected, which is a really nice detail in my opinion. On top of that, the animation is also really great, the music is fitting, and just everything about this trailer is just good. From the voice acting, from the music, to the animation, and I also especially love the part at the end where all the dragons are just standing there, determined to stop the war and be the heroes to save the day. This trailer is probably my favorite of all the bunch. Good job, Paper Drake Studios. Alright, we've got one more trailer still.
Huh. This trailer is kind of different from the other trailers. Definitely a bit more calmer than the others. Well, some things I like about this trailer is that they use the fan-made Dragon Prophecy song in the background, which I think is a nice touch. And the ending also is pretty good. Definitely does feel like an official trailer. But then again, this video, this, this trailer seems a bit lackluster in some ways. There isn't really much animation in it. It's mostly just uh, panning images. I can understand that they probably just weren't that good at animating, but still, it is a bit lackluster compared to the others. But it was still okay, and a nice trailer for Wings of Fire. So keep at it. Well, that's it for this video. Which trailer did you like the most? Let me know in the comments down below. And make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Excuse me now, I'm going to go be reading Wings of Fire, The Flames of Hope now. Alright then, bye!